Building Sustainable Cities, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 206. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 206, March 5th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the consensus and decision-making lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of consensus. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the contribution lesson plan. We also completed the final 75% of the mind map for the play lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, as you can see here. In addition, the core team continued creation of renders for the ultimate classroom. We added items and updated the textures of items for the yellow and green rooms, and added the updated windows as well. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created and added food and recipe images and links to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, bringing that page to 92% completion, which you can see here. And Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 20th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work was integration of the second major round of revisions and edits to the Highest Good Food search engine. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 10 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was editing the excavation and construction of an Earthbag Dome Google Doc focusing on floor construction, section 11. We also completed the subterranean exterior ground finish polyethylene water barrier and EPS insulation, section 13, the French drain gutter, section 14, and the final backfill. You can see some of this work here. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her fourth week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she further developed the water storage, piping, and use details and ran initial catchment calculations. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his fifth week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower designs. This week's focus was adding more details to shower structures and starting to model the septic piping and placement for the showers and vermiculture bathrooms. And Jennifer Zhao, web developer, helped create version 1.0 of the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial webpage. You can see screenshots of this work here. 
Using this tutorial, the core team also completed conversion of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 to the new and simplified color and layer format. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 58 of Dean's work, developing this progression of 37 images for the room furniture and lighting for the east side living spaces. The final seven images here are new from this week. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 33rd week helping with the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was producing this final kitchen render looking northwest. Adding details to both Dean and Hamilton's previous work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, created this final Cobb Village West Living Space loft area and this second generation compressed earthblock village front area looking southeast render. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 18th week of work focusing on integrating into the front of the west side similar layout and landscaping details as used in the front of the east side. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his 14th week of this work, focusing on third generation renderings of each of the different treehouse structures shown here. Also this fourth generation render of half the complete village. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 29th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continuing the process of learning how to use the Dialect software, modeling the city center's social dome bathrooms, and continuing lighting testing with different floor and wall colors. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was continuing the roof designs, updates to the dome geometry, and continuing to work out the details for the different column section length and weight specifics. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. What you see here are a couple of photos from the weekly collaborative calls with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and this week's research into hot water heaters and power supplies. Hannon Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 10th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was continuing to integrate the new dome geometry into the master file and 3D modeling the domes to help the structural team with their decision-making process for design updates. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her sixth week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was behind the scenes tutorial explaining the wall strip footing design and two new MathCAD tutorials explaining the different calculations necessary for proper foundation design. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished another several rounds of developing the new Highest Good Education video. What you see in the background here is the most recently developed and tested video and graphics. And do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call Highest Good Living. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. To help, share this video and visit our helping page. And Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also completed her sixth week of helping develop the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. This week's focus was creating version one of these chart graphics. I've been asked before, what is the end game of one community? Like, what is the ultimate goal? of one community. 
And the ultimate goal of one community is to create a world that works for everybody. It's to truly create a planet that works for everyone. And a major stepping stone to that is building sustainable cities. So the small stepping stone is building sustainable communities and a whole bunch of open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, do it yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability so that people can use them in their individual lives or to build for building sustainable cities or for building sustainable communities or for building sustainable teacher demonstration hubs. However, they want to use those open source tools, tutorials, and resources, people can. That foundation then is meant to make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that it spreads on its own. And to demonstrate it as attractive enough, we believe that a complete comprehensive model is necessary. And so one community, the eco-tourism destination is meant to be that. It's meant to be that place that combines all of the open source components as an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And we will share that as a vacation destination with the message that if you like what this is, if you like visiting and experiencing this for a weekend, for a week, for a day, join us in creating a version of this that you can live this way all the time. And in so doing, we are open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of that evolution of sustainability to make that as easy as possible, to make it easy enough and affordable enough, and then to live it and demonstrate as attractive enough. And so those foundations are the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, but we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create the total environment. And those emotional foundations are what we call highest good approaches to economics, highest good approaches to education, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting it all together, as the evolution of sustainability and demonstrating as a teacher demonstration hub, village, city, purposed to create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. This is how we're building sustainable cities, empowering people to do it on their own, starting with sustainable villages, building up to communities, and even bigger to cities. And in so doing, creating a world that truly works for everybody and bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's possible to create a sustainable world within our lifetime and making it happen right now. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to be a part of building sustainable cities, we invite you to get involved. There's lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build everything that one community is designing right now, to just helping volunteering your knowledge or skills as a professional, or just sharing our information on social media is a great way to help us out. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information, to get the word out, to get it in the hands of people that are most interested in it so that it can be useful so we can spread the word. We want to reach that tipping point of participation where sustainability replicates on its own, where we have achieved a world that achieved object, objectively achieved enough change, positive change that we are touching the lives of everyone and everything on this planet. That will mean that we are on the brink of creating a world that truly works for everybody. I mean, if we can get to that point where everybody is benefiting from what it is that we're doing, we will be very close to that tipping point of participation such that we can positively impact the lives of everybody in a way that is truly sustainable and will last for generations to come. Why? Because we see the challenges of today and tomorrow and generations to come as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. They're interdependent. And what we're creating is designed to simultaneously address all of them in a way that is flexible and adaptable enough to not only address the challenges of this generation, but also to adapt to the challenges of generations to come and to meet the differing values and needs of different, ethnic, uh, of different cultures, of different value sets, while simultaneously being built on a sustainable foundation because it just makes sense to do that by lowering overhead by building sustainably so that by definition it is sustainable rather than running out of resources and something that is going to have to be torn down and rebuilt differently. Instead, we're building to last and open sourcing and free sharing it so others can too. Of course, people ask, well, what is the what is the biggest thing that people can do to help right now? We're still seeking large scale funding. Everybody in one community is a nonprofit volunteer. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm not paid, neither of us anybody else on my team. 
but we're still seeking that large scale funding so we can take the whole project to the next level by getting the property off the market that we've been working with now for seven years, going on seven years, and by disclosing the location and taking our whole open source process to the next level by being able to do the details that can't be done until we're sure that the location that we chose six years ago, going on seven years, is the place where we're going to be and we can disclose that location because our nonprofit owns it. Right now we don't, so if you or somebody you know has resources or access to the resources or somebody access to somebody with the resources that would be interested in either investing in one community or donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would like to talk to you. We'd love to speak with you and see what that means. In the meantime, we're building sustainable cities one small component at a time from do-it-yourself furniture to open source and free shared globally uh, interactive education programs to the complete the village infrastructure itself to the food infrastructure the energy infrastructure the social architecture and fulfilled living models all of those are meant to be steps in the right direction and this is how we're building sustainable cities for of tomorrow by taking little steps today and creating all the open source foundations necessary so that others can do this too this is what one community is up to so this sounds interesting. If you like more details, more specific links, if you're new to our project, visit our written blog and see what it is that we're doing right now. Click on the links, visit our website, explore everything that I've talked about. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit like, help us out that way. Those things really help us out as well. We're very grateful. We're grateful for the little donations that we get. We're grateful that you watched the end of our video. Uh, we're grateful for all the support and the broad diversity of ways that we get it. And uh, until next week, we will say thank you and keep on keeping on. Thanks.